Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial of a game that I've got which is on the PlayStation Store, PS4, I'm not sure about PS3, but it's a game called Guns Up and um, as you know by my glitch video, this is um, the game. So basically you've got loads of aspects of the games, there's literally like tons, but I'm going to cover that in a different video if you want me to. So I'm gonna today. I'm gonna show you troops, which are basically the the most important thing in the game. So you go to the barracks and you've got loads of troops. So first of all, the two the, when you do the tutorial in the game, first two troops that you get are the grunt and the assault. I'm gonna show you the grunt because he's my he's got max rank. So as you can see down in the bottom left corner, you got stats. So the grunt's got pretty good uh, accuracy and reload speed, but the rest is pretty m mediocre. And you can get medals for troops. So, like um, the grunt, I've got already. I've already got two. You can increase their health, their um, reload, not reload, um, cooldown for them to spawn. Intense. I'll show you that in a minute. And their attack, or you you can just really increase lots of their stats um so you got the grunt which is the cheapest and the most expend uh, expandable one you got the assault which is the same as the grunt but he's got lower accuracy less damage but a greater fire rate you got the grenade launcher who fires grenades at um, enemies and blows them up you got the medic and um he's uh, obviously a medic you got the engineer who um in defense mode, fix your buildings if they get um, repairs your buildings if they get damaged, or your transport truck in offensive mode. You've got the flamer, who is basically just sets things alight. You've got the ranger, which is a pretty good one, but I don't want to get him yet. You've got the sniper, pretty um, self explanatory. You've got the machine gunner, now I want this guy, but as you can see, I can't recruit him. And I don't know if he's good. So you can rent troops for how many battles you want. Just to test them out to see if you they're your kind of troop. You've got the Rocketeer. And then over here, you've got a couple of question marks. Now these are hero units. You've got, um, I can't remember all of them. But you get them through PvP, rewards and opening um, card packs. Now I'm going to show you perks. Perks are really good for um, troops. So you want to use specific perks for specific troops. So when you first get your grunt, he's gonna, his reload speed is going to be really bad and his fire rate is going to be really bad and so is his damage. Also his health is going to be really bad, but you can only select three. So I've selected his fire rate, which increased fire rate by 33%. I've chosen his reload speed, which um, increases that by 33%, and I've chosen damage, which increases it by 42%. But say you were going to um, get the machine gunner. Sorry, my mum's timer is going off. Say you want to get the machine gunner. His, his accuracy is so all over the place, so you might want to add on accuracy and damage. And maybe a bit of reload speed because his reload speed is only like it takes him three seconds to reload his gun. So these are all the troops, and um, I've shown you the troops. And what you can do in the defensive is you can put them in these things called tents. Now they protect you when you're being attacked or you're using CPU defend. You can select your units. So in both of them, I got grunts because they spawn every 26 seconds. You can use choose the assaults, the grenade launcher. As you can see, their time is going up as I progress in the troops. Now, to lower the time, you obviously upgrade the them. And um, yeah, that is basically the tents. They are one of the best um, things for troops. Now, I'm going to show you how to attack. Well, I've got a setup. So. Here you see the attack menu. I'm level 22, so I can attack nightmare enemies. And these enemies are really hard. So I'm not going to attack them because I can fail. So you've got 
one red skull, three skull, two skull, one skull, and then the free one, which doesn't give you anything but a couple of um, munitions and some cards. So I'm going to do um, attack Devil Bread Gaming, probably. And as you can see, if you can see in the right, on the right, he's got two tents, two sniper towers, three bunkers, no air defense, and one mortar. And he's also got a card. See the command last stand. I believe that will uh, summon a hero unit. He's he's also both of his um, tents have grunts in them because you can tell because both of them are grunts and you always get the assault um, spawning out of the um, of the HQ. So let's get in. So as you can see, these are my troops which I'm using. If I want to switch them, I press X and assign different units. Say I want the flamer, and if I want to edit the unit just edit his perks right here now these are card slots so I'm gonna take an, an extra 500 munitions and you can do that so um yeah we're gonna go into battle right now and as you can see here this is my next level so my next level I'm gonna get 20k munition and a tier 2 nightmare opponent we were just talking about okay so let's get into the battle. When you start off, you'll have this truck thing. You need to defend this truck, and you get the, uh, these little um, special things. So you can summon or spawn your people. I'm going to use a rally flag, which makes them rally up and stay still, so they don't all separate. And as you can see, you see that helmet in the bottom right corner? That is my unit cap. And as I told you, I think I told you, um, you can increase your unit cap, and, um, yeah, so here comes the enemy's troops. The enemy's troops can be distracted with a decoy, so they distract that, and you can use that to your advantage. If they've got an RPG, like a person with an RPG or a grenade launcher, you can put it right next to the RPG, -er and he'll blow himself right up, because they they your and be careful because your um specials i'm going to call them can affect you as well so if i placed a firebomb around about to where my troops are and they walked into the fire they would get burnt so um yeah so in this attack it's going pretty successfully as you can see i've got my munitions those aren't my like buying munitions like you get different types of munitions it's quite confusing you get munitions for attacking so you get a different amount when you level up and then you got munitions in your base which you earn and you buy stuff so as you can see we're pretty much taking out his base really well as you can see here we got some tear gas and we can stop that uh, bunker from firing at our men and we can fire at them instead all of them have their cons and pros. Like uh, the the assault, his accuracy and his damage is really low, but he makes that up for his health and his um, firing speed. So they're all all troops in this game are pretty really good. And some people might not like say the flamer because he takes forever to reload and takes forever to fire and stuff but this game is uh, very good and um, yeah that's all I have to really talk about in this episode because this episode was about um, uh, troops in general so um, yeah I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I've covered all of the troops and all of their um, perks oh we leveled up that's that's nice let's have a look at what we get Oh, 20,000 munitions. That'll go towards me and nightmare opponents. That'll go towards me trying to get the machine gunner because he costs 360,000. That's quite a lot. So, um, thank you guys again for watching. Please, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my other videos. They're pretty good. And, um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.